really sorry, okay? It wasn't intentional. I'm really sorry. Sorry? Oh God, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I came for interview. Look at me. I came for interview. I tell you, 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 you what, what, what are you telling me? Young man, are you blind? So you don't like the water you are holding. You don't like you can slip off your hand for you to close it. So, I'm, shut up, your man. There, I'm talking to you. You are talking. What what nonsense is this now? Eh? So, eh, 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 hold yourself. Hold yourself. Ah, uh, what is your own? It wasn't intentional. Intentional PUJ. Just say sorry, tell me. As if you tell if you tell me that sorry, tell me. I this quick tempered. Don't tell me quick tempered. Though. Don't tell me quick tempered. Okay, as I have wet my body now. What what do you, what, what do you expect me to do? You came for an interview, you want to wet me so that you look good. I'm just safe. Is there any more for something that I can use to work on? You are asking him. He came for an interview. I know he's looking at him. Let him go to his house and bring him up for you. Yeah, no, you don't know me. Please. Uh -uh. Do I want to know you? Do I want to know you? I beg, shift, shift, shift. It's better you either you move your shirt and clean this floor. Don't worry. I will soon become the. Really no, no, no. It wasn't ah, just imagine. Eh? This was just an accident. You should understand. Accident killed you. There. You know, it's fine. I will do the need for ah. I'll just get something to clean. Don't worry, Anna. You can just sit down. Go on. Oh, Come and clean it. Fine. Come and clean what is fine. You sit down. Why are you behaving like that? You are equal. Mm -hmm. Sit down there. You came for an interview. Ah, just imagine this guy. You can walk in. The door is opened. Come and how you sit. Sit. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so. I received your CV and I have gone through it thoroughly. I must confess, you have a very good CV. But I don't think you have the heart to manage the affairs of this company. Thank you, sir. Thank you. I want to apologize for what happened. What happened? I was not really in a good mood. I, was I don't know what happened. What happened? What are you apologizing for? The way I spoke to you. How did you speak to me? I'm sorry. Please. You see, I pity you a lot. You can't go around disrespecting people. This is not what you think. I was not like... I don't know how to explain this. I'm sorry. Mm. Please, I'm very, very sorry. So should I take your excuse? Please, I'm very, very sorry. Do you know why I want to take this excuse of yours? Because you were two people seated. But your actions was the opposite that of the other person. Is the person also not having emotions? Please, I it, I know. I was like, I was not. Uh, you uh, know what? I'm sorry, please. I'm sorry. No, let me advise you. After this job, you've lost it, okay? And please, like, wait, please. sit, sit. Oh, 
you have a very good CV. I would give you that credit. But like I said, it goes beyond just having a good CV. Your character is equally important. How you treat people. You didn't know me. You didn't know who I was. But look at the way you spoke to me. It was so appalling. Funny enough, here you are. How will you explain yourself that you were what? It was the same situation your other colleague had patience to handle whatever the situation was. If you should continue like this, you will continue to suffer. So, uh, I wouldn't talk too much. Please, I'm sorry. You would have to go to the front desk, pick your CV, find a job somewhere else, okay? Uh, the job has been assigned to your colleague. I think she will be the better person to manage please, the place. Please, I'm very sorry. Sir. I've already I'm made my decision. I'm sorry about it. The next time... You please, will... I'm very sorry. You, I don't have you any problem with you. That my CV is Look, I'm being honest. I don't have any issue with you. Okay? It is your character that has brought you, I mean, here. So I would advise... That wherever you find yourself, you have to treat people with the right accord. It will help you in a long way. Okay, so you've lost the job and it has been assigned to your colleague. So you can now leave the office. Get your go to the front desk, get whatever you're supposed to, your documents are there ready. Then leave here, okay? Thank you very much. Yeah, come in. Have a seat. I don't think I need to ask you a lot of questions. I've already gotten what I want. How do you? But I'm really sorry for what happened outside. Okay. It wasn't intentional. Yeah. You have been given the job. Say, I don't understand. I know you won't understand. But you have been given the job. That thing that happened outside was just a test. Oh my God! Yeah, I just wanted to weigh the two of you to see who best can handle situations when I mean they happen and situations can come in so many ways you can lose clients a lot a lot of things is involved you get thank it. you thank so, you sir. No, no 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 I don't want you to you have a job so first thing Monday morning 8 a.m. is the reporting time yeah I already received your I mean your CV I've gone through them and I don't think there's much to do, okay? And I like the way you handle the situation outside. Because everything, patient first. You have to calm down, assess the situation before you judge. I mean, it's, it was so bizarre. You don't know people, but you you just have to bring out your true colors and all this kind of stuff. So I appreciate this. You don't. Thank you. It is your deed that has given you the job. So I want to see you here first on Monday morning. I've told you the reporting time is 8. You don't have to be late. Okay. So that is all for now for you. So you can. And when you get there, tell the next person to walk in. Welcome. Have a nice day.